lifestyle lovers welcome back to SE lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is Erica my channel is called SE lifestyle and it is all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so this is the start of a new vlog I actually just freshened up like took a shower throw it on like some chill out clothes and I'm headed to date night in with my man my man my man <laughs> i think i told you guys like a few vlogs back that we do a lot of date night in because he works like long hours so by the time he's getting off work i'm actually kind of settling down getting ready for the next day so when time permits for both of our schedules we'll just kind of settle down um together he loves to cook so he's going to Put some steaks on the grill tonight. And I think I'm going to have, uh, I have some sea scallops that I think I'm just going to take a few over there and maybe see if we can find a recipe for to do like a topping on the steak because he typically, typically put, you know, put the steaks on the grill and do like a topping and probably some asparagus. Um, so I am going to pack that up. What else do I have? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see what I have to probably make a nice topping. I do have some garlic paste. This is really, really good. Like if you're doing, you know, shrimp scampi or, um, and you don't want to bite into the garlic, you use like a garlic paste. And then I have some lemon and herb butter from Publix. And what else do we need? I have some white wine vinegar. This is actually really good for toppings as well. If you're making like a shrimp scampi or pasta, I couldn't find the top. So that's why it's in the refrigerator. And and I have some heavy whipping cream. So if you want to make it like a little um, milk uh, Alfredo base, you'll add the whipping cream. So I'm going to take these ingredients over there. And what else? Um, so in this vlog, Lifestyle Lovers, I have quite a few home stuff or home items to share with you guys. So I am going to share some home items with you guys. Um, but yeah, we have another storm coming. A hurricane coming tomorrow. Hurricane Nicole is coming um, through Jacksonville, coming on the east coast of Florida. So we're expecting that tomorrow. So I'm working from home. I will be working, but they canceled school. So technically, I don't really have to get up early. So this is kind of like the perfect night for us to do date night because, you know, my obligations are a little bit less in the morning as far as getting my son up and all of that stuff. Um... So yeah, and he also has a Bartesian machine. He just purchased a Bartesian machine. So if you guys do not know what that is, I'll get a chance to share that with you in this vlog. But yeah, so um, I'll see you when I get to my friend's house. I'm in the shower. Oh, okay. I'll Bye. Okay, Lifestyle Lovers, I was trying to FaceTime my daughter. Back in August, um, she wanted the Marc Jacobs tote bag, the one that you're actually seeing here. And the one that I purchased her was like the Traveler's, the Traveler's tote. And she didn't too much care for that one. She said it was too big, which I told her it'd probably be perfect for her because she's a mom. And she can carry some of her mommy things in her bag. But she says she did not want it, want that. She wanted the small one. So it just kind of arrived today. It was sitting on the porch when I got ready um, to leave. So I was I was just trying to FaceTime her and show it to her. But she's in the shower. And I'm getting ready to go. But I guess she'll probably just pick this up tomorrow. But this is, this is a cute little tote. And I know it's been trending. It's very popular. I've been seeing this, you know, around YouTube and stuff like that. But a cute little canvas tote so this was her birthday gift and i paid a bill for her so yeah okay so that's what i wanted to share with you guys 
Okay, lifestyle lovers, I also wanted to share this cotton candy wine with you guys. I purchased this from a ABC Spirit store that's kind of far out. It's not really near my home, but it's made by the same brand of my favorite red wine, which is Dublin. But they have cotton candy wine. They have two kinds they have a regular kind which i finished that bottle it's gone and then they have the blueberry so i kind of saved a little bit because i wanted my friend to try it so this is probably enough for two full glasses of wine but it's okay it's not as sweet as my regular wet red wine but i would recommend um i would recommend just to try it i like my wine sweet so it's not as sweet but it's kind of good um i probably probably would purchase it again. I don't know if I would purchase two bottles, but I probably would purchase it again, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I'll link it below. I believe Total Wine has it. Total Wine is kind of, you know, that may be available in more areas than ABC Wine and Spirits. I don't, I don't know how many, how, you know, how many areas that's available in, but just check your local um, Total Wine or your ABC Spirit store and you should be able to find it if you want to try it. So I'm going to take that um, so he can kind of try that. But I think we're going to probably make some margaritas tonight on the Bartesian.
Good morning, lifestyle lovers. So it is the next morning. I am having me a cup of tea. Oh, so quiet. So it's about 6.30. There is currently a tropical storm going on outside. So Hurricane Nicole, Hurricane Nicole apparently hit Florida, but it downgraded to a tropical storm. So the kids are out of school, so the house is quiet. I'm expecting my grandsons to be here today because my daughter, she's a nurse, so she had to work. And since school is closed, the kids gonna be over here. So I am currently working for my sofa. I have a ton of cases that I want to get through today. Um, and hopefully they can be quiet because I do have to, you know, sometimes call people and do interviews and all of that stuff. So hopefully um, I can get some work done. But date night was a success. That food was so good. When I tell you it tastes like five-star restaurant quality food. So I end up making like a topping for the scallops with everything that I shared with you guys last night. The only thing extra that I used was some garlic butter because he had garlic butter. And since it was a topping, I just used just like a little bit of everything. I used the garlic butter, butter, lemon and herb butter from Publix, a squeeze of a lemon wedge, a little bit of half and half, just, just a small amount. Um, what else? I used that that garlic squeeze that I showed you guys in the bottle and that was it everything that I showed you oh and and the red wine vinegar um so I probably use more of the red wine vinegar than anything and just kind of let it get to a boil added the scallops and then I add added some seasoning because I did not see, season the scallops it was so damn good I cooked the asparagus in the oven and of course you know he cooked the steak and after dinner, we watched this movie called Orphan Kills. But we didn't make it through the movie, so we're going to have to try to run that back again. But we had a really nice night. I love date night in. I do have a headache from having two of those margaritas. Um, so, yeah, I've been talking for 10 minutes. I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys. I'm getting ready to start my work day. And, um, you know, if the kids get here, once they get here, I'll probably check in and let them say, say hi. But I'm just going to get started working. Story of my life. So I'll check back in with you guys a little later. lifestyle lovers and this rain is so loud I don't know if you can hear it but I'm gonna pan the camera outside the wind is blowing so hard and it's it's, it's raining so hard I, I really <laughs> want to stop working and go get in my bed just wanted you guys to kind of hear how hard that rain was coming down I hope it I hope it doesn't get any worse than this but yeah 
Y'all, somebody want to say, hey, tell the lifestyle lovers, hey, look. They ain't seen you in a long time. Tell them you don't got battle and battle. Hey. I got my grandsons with me. Got a light skinned Messiah over here. Messiah, you looking so pale on the camera. King get ready to go with his daddy, baby. He just stumping around my house like he a giant. But making all this noise. I can't work like that. Because, because his shoes. Yeah, he won't take his shoes off, get mad when you try to tell him something. You got to go with your daddy. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey. Can I make a Say hey, y'all see that gap? I want to see that. Say I'm hey. Gonna, I'm going to make a video with Mookie. What? What? King called you mama? Huh? King was calling you mama. Mm -hmm. He called you mama. Mm -hmm. Baby, he called everybody mama. Call me mama and your mama. Tell him, hey, give him a kiss. Give me a kiss. He was about to do it. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, he finna go. I just wanted y'all to see, uh, I just wanted y'all to see Betty before he go with his daddy. Tell him bye. Show him you know how to say bye. Say bye bye. You ain't gonna say bye bye? Say bye bye. Give me a kiss. No kiss. You gonna be mean. Say bye. Bye bye. What? Hmm. Mm, that wind is a blowing. Say bye bye. Hey Lifestyle Lovers, happy Friday. So, today is Friday, I'm getting ready to run some errands. I just kinda put on some athletic wear with my new Jordan Wands that I just recently purchased. Um, LV hat. Um, you guys probably have already seen this athletic wear because it's uh, it was sponsored with Yvette Sportswear. So I'm gonna use it to run some errands. I'm taking my vitamin c this is emergency i try to keep up my same regimen that i was using when we was like in the pandemic so i take the same type of vitamins when i get up in the morning i take lysine because you're supposed to take lysine on an empty stomach i take vitamin d i take echinacea i take a multivitamin i take vitamin c sometimes i'll take it in pill form and i also take elderberry now i'm gonna be honest i do not take it every day I try to though, um, but just sometimes, you know, I just don't remember. But I try to kind of keep that same that same regimen just to kind of keep my immune system up. I just think it helps. I think that that contributes to um, my skin being clear as well. Cause I mean, I don't take them every day, but I take them almost every day. So I got my daily dose of vitamin C. You mix this with four to six ounces of water. So this is just a bottle that I was drinking and I just drunk it down. Um, I'm going to just fill my Starbucks cup up. I just kind of rinse it off. I've been seeing everybody posting their Starbucks cups and every year I run out monkey see monkey do and i go by the damn cups what i see everybody posting and i'll never damn it use them they stay in the in the uh in the whatever it's called they stay in the cabinet <laughs> so um i was like you know what 
What is that? I said, I'm gonna pull out my Starbucks cup and use that today just to kind of keep in the car while I'm running my errands so I can kind of stay hydrated. But um, I may take you guys with me. I'm going to my man, my man house first because I need to um, do something over there. And then after that, I'm gonna pick up a few household items. I have some cleaning items to share with you guys. So we'll, um, I'll do that when I get back. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Okay, lifestyle lovers. <laughs> so I just left out of Starbucks. And before I left the house, I was watching YouTube. I was watching like a lifestyle channel. Um, the young lady name is Brittany Jackson. She's 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 a lot younger than me, I, I believe. <laughs> Everybody a lot younger than me on YouTube. I'm like the damn YouTube grandma. <laughs> but anyway, I was watching her and she had this cup. She had this cup in her vlog. So I purchased this cup. It was $24.95, child. $25 for a damn cup. But it is pretty. It's like the gold. I guess this is part of um, Starbucks holiday collection. So I, I really do like this cup. So, and they had plenty of them. So I purchased this cup. And then she was also drinking a um, grind. I don't know what size she was drinking, but she was drinking an ice sugar what it is grande iced sugar cookie almond latte now this i don't like this shit is nasty <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and drink it hers was probably customized and i'm gonna be honest most drinks in order for them to taste good most drinks from starbucks you have to customize them customize them add some syrup add some different kind of milk or whatever the case may be but i don't like this this nasty it's nasty i got light ice you know because most of the time they put like a ton of ice in it and by the time you can finish it it just tastes like water so i'm probably going to take this ice out i've just pulled up to um my my friend house so i'll probably just take this ice out and drink the rest of it but this shit is nasty i do not like it do not get it unless you customize it add some stuff to it but i'm gonna drink it and then I'm going to get back on my H2O. So I just wanted to share that right quick with you guys. Um, not sure what else. Oh, you know, I want to share some cleaning products with you guys and some home home stuff. So, um, so I'll check back in with you guys once I get home. Hey, Lifestyle Lovers, happy Sunday. So I just wanted to come on right quick before I close out the vlog. I wanted to share some home updates with you guys. I know it's been a minute since I shared some home updates. So I wanted to go ahead and update you guys on the upcoming home updates. Now, I had not been filming it, but when I tell you I have been everywhere looking for a rug because I wanted one for the holidays and I was getting kind of discouraged um but I was going in home goods checking just about every home good in Jacksonville including the one on Jacksonville Beach looking for a rug and I was not able to find one however I did find a rug it was way more than I wanted to pay for it but when I tell you it is the perfect rug for my living area the rug actually looks just like this uttermost painting it has all of the colors in it except for black the rug does not have any black in it it has mostly whites 
but it is going to be perfect in my space. It is a 9 by 12 rug and it'll be here in two weeks. So this one I'm probably going to go ahead and sell because um, there's nothing else that I can do with it. And I also got an update on my Bernhardt chair is going to be here sometime this month. That was the last update. So, so hopefully and prayfully, I will have a completed uh, living space for the holidays. I'm hoping and praying. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm kind of trying to decide what I'm going to do with my Christmas decor. But I'm thinking for the bookshelves, I'm going to do all Christmas decor. So typically what I do, I don't go out and buy a whole bunch of Christmas decor when it's time to decorate and I typically don't do that until after Thanksgiving. I pull out everything that I have from last year and then I decide what I need. I don't go out and buy anything before I pulled out what I have. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna decorate both of my bookshelves with only Christmas decor. I think I'm gonna do a garland going across my fireplace wall and then the tree will actually be right here which is where i put it last year so just to kind of show you guys i did kind of change my coffee table around this was actually on the bookshelf and i brought it over here this is from west elm i have my joe malone lavender and moonflower this smells so damn good and then got the white tom ford book I believe this is from Home Goods, and then I have my uttermost sculpture over here. So this is pretty much how the coffee table is looking right now. I did go get me some fresh flowers on Saturday morning. I did not record it because I struggled so much with this flower arrangement, but I kind of like it now. So I'm going to try my best to kind of keep fresh flowers up here but these are i forgot y'all i'm gonna put them across the screen got some white roses some blue roses hydrangeas the florist that i went to did not have any green palms so i don't have those this time but i love how it looks but i'm just gonna keep trying my flower arrangement skill and hopefully i'll get better so i wanted to share some cleaning products with you guys that i kind of picked up the pink stuff is a really good multi-purpose cleaner for just about everything around the house. I have never seen it in the spray bottle. I do have it in the tub and I use it to clean my stove. So when I do a clean with me, I'll kind of demonstrate. But I used it to clean my bathroom this following weekend and it works very, very well. So that's what I picked up. I picked up some soft scrub toilet cubes and you kind of put these in the basin. I think that's what you call it, but you actually put these in the tank of the the tank of the toilet. So I've never tried these, but I am going to go ahead and try them. I just wanted to share them with you guys. I got some Clorox disinfectant wipes. I've already started to use one. So pretty much after I clean, I go in and wipe everything down with these disinfectant wipes. I keep a tub in the car as well so I can wipe stuff down when I go in and out of stores. I got some Unstoppables Febreze Car Fresh for my car. I have some Method Sweet Water uh, hand soap and this is for my upstairs bathroom. I just typically go with the clear soap that way I don't have to worry about trying to match your theme or anything. I have some cleaner with bleach. Um, I have some micro microfiber cloths. I love cleaning with these and they last a long time because you can wash them. So I love to kind of clean everything with these. You can clean glass, you can clean wood. These are perfect for cleaning as well as I have the Myers Clean Day Fall Leaves. This smells so good, lifestyle lovers. I was actually looking for the Acorn Spice. I could not find it, but when I smelled this one, it smells so good. I actually think that I'm gonna mop my floor with it. I'm just going to pour some on the floor and mop with some hot water. That's just how good it smells. So if you have not tried Fall Leaves, try it. And then I just have some freezer bags, which I have already opened. So I just want to share a few 
home items that I purchased with you guys. So this is actually a toilet paper holder. I'm gonna put it on the, um, so I purchased this for my guest bathroom and it's basically where you store your toilet paper and it also comes in black but the black is always sold out but it has like a little tray at the top so you can you know place like air fresheners here if someone you know is going to be in the bathroom a little longer they can actually place their phone here and when you need a new toilet paper you just kind of pull it out of this area right here so it just kind of like stocks up on toilet paper and this is for my guest bath this is my guest powder room lifestyle lover so this is pretty much where the toilet paper stocker will go right here that way I can kind of stock it up and I don't have to worry about it I don't get that much company um so I don't have to I can check it like every couple of months but just to give you guys like a brief overview of my powder room if you have never seen it um I have the Jo Malone English pear and freezer hand soap which smells so good and the lotion in here I used to have like a a shelf for this stuff but it fell and I haven't been able to get it back up but if you that's that's the dryer but if you are interested in the I believe it's the decorate with me on this powder room I'll link it in the description box but I'm just giving you guys a sneak peek of my powder room just in case you're new here it's pretty much all black black paint that I that I kind of did myself and I just wanted to make sure that I had um, toilet paper that can stay stock but here's like a sneak peek if you want to know where everything is from I'll link that video in the description box and also I purchased this turbo extreme steam it's a steam it's a garment steamer as well as an iron I have not opened it yet but I've seen tons of TikToks and videos on this thing and I had to get it um, so I can't give you guys basically a review because I have not used it yet but this is one of the new home items as well as I purchased some lens shades for the patio so I shared these string lights with you guys from Hampton Bay from Home Depot and I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the patio they'll go like right here because I'm like missing a line and then I'll just add these lampshades and it'll pretty much look like that I also picked up some black cup hooks this is actually what I would use to ha to hang the string lights I basically use these and you can pretty much use this um just for any type of material that you have whether it's wood I believe my patio ceiling is made of steel but I do have a video here on my channel as to how I install spring lights so I will link that in the description box if you are interested but this is what I use so I just bought a pack of these as well as I picked up these command strips um, with the hanging with like the hanging hook on them because I'm going to use these to hang my garland on my fireplace wall so I just went ahead and picked these up um, from Home Depot as well so last but not least, I am thinking about changing out my bar stool chairs here um, at the island. I want something a little bit more low profile. I don't know if I'm going to do chairs to match right now, but I am going to change these bar stool cha chairs out pretty soon. It may, it may not be before the holidays. It may be sometime next year, but I actually ordered some fabric swatches from West Elm. And of course, I want to go with a light color, very similar to the color that is already 
there and these are from American Signature. They actually match my chairs over there. They are from American Signature as well. I'm going to insert the bar stools that I'm looking at, but these are some of the color swatches that I selected because you can kind of go on and order these for free. Very light colors, different different type of different type of fabrics, but I prefer this one. And I don't know, it's just something about that velvet feel of fabric that I love. Um, but here's another swatch. And these are like some darker colors, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go with anything dark. I'm gonna stick with the light. And the one that I almost pos I'm almost sure that I'm gonna go with is a performance fabric. So basically you can just wipe it down when you have spills and all of that. You can wipe it down. My sofa is uh, made of Krepton. I don't know if I told you guys that. My son got some red Gatorade on it last week. I just took a um, a white cloth. I, I just took a wet cloth, wiped it down, came right out. So I don't have to worry about the kids wasting anything because I have Krepton fabric. That was one of the reasons that I kind of wanted that sofa. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of update you guys on what's coming up so we have a new rug coming hopefully um, my accent chair will be here sometime this month I'm going to be doing a patio clean with me so I can um, install the rest of my string lights and I'll be checking on maybe ordering those chairs before Christmas but that is pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm pretty much heading out the door. I'm going to go to my sister's house. My brother is in town. And so, you know, we cook crabs like we always do. But he loves crabs. We don't get to spend that much time with him because he lives in Georgia now. He lives in Savannah. And, you know, he's just always working. My brother, one of them people, baby, he be out of sight, out of mind. So I want to spend some time with him and love on him before he gets back on the road to go home. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you on the next video.